Hi, I'm Don Bodan from SampleLibrarianReview.com. Today we're going to be checking out the Abbey Road 1 Legendary Low Strings and Sparkling Woodwinds by Spitfire Audio. Spitfires once again captured the magic of Abbey Road's iconic Studio One. This time they've delivered some low strings with, with the bass and cello section paired together and a woodwind instrument with a layer of glockenspiel all for that Hollywood sound. Sparkling Woodwinds downloads a 6.4 gigabytes. It's orchestral woodwinds. These samples are uncompressed wave files, which might be one of the reasons they sound so great. It's sampled captured in Abbey Road's iconic Studio One. We've got three articulations with sparkling legatos, longs, and staccatos with octaves there. And you've got two main mixes with 10 independent microphone positions. It is running in Spitfire's standalone plug-in which is AU VST or AAX compatible and the library normally sells for $49. Abbey Road 1 legendary low strings downloads a 7.5 gigabytes. This is cello and bass sections playing back together and again these are uncompressed wave files sampled captured in Abbey Road's iconic studio one. There's four articulations for this one epic legatos, longs, staccatos, and spiccatos all in octaves. You've got two mixes and 10 microphone positions and it does run in Spitfire's standalone plug-in there. This one normally sells for 49 US dollars as well. Now, before we look at those instruments individually and listen to them, I spent a little bit of time with the instrument, did a quick, short mock-up here, and boy, I am so impressed with the sound of this series so far. I did use a couple instruments from the Abbey Road 1 Orchestral Foundations Library. All right, I've got legendary low strings loaded up here. Nice full sound. That's the first thing I can say. It's got a really rich sound just with the first mix position loaded up. We've got the four articulations, the legatos uh, in octaves. We've got uh, longs. These are just sustains and octaves as well. Real nice amount of uh, tail in this mix as well. We'll listen to the other mixes in a second. Let's just check out the other two articulations. Uh, staccato. And our spiccato. It's got a 
got a nice amount of bite to it, but it's really about that room sound for this library, in my opinion, thus far. I'm going to go ahead and switch back to Legato's. That was mix one. Let's, miss in, let's, uh, let's listen to the uh, mix two here. I feel like Mix 2 has a tiny bit more bite to it. Maybe those uh, vi those uh, <laughs> cellos are a little bit more present, in my opinion. I've also got a couple of uh, vintage mics here. and some close mics. Tree. And those two different tree mics have very distinctive uh, sounds to them. The outrigger mics. Now, if it's a really exposed part, that might be a, a nice mix there. All right, let's jump over to the Sparkling Woodwinds. This one only has the three articulations, the Sparkling Legatos. Those legatos, the longs. And the staccato. And then in addition, you've got all of those with the glockenspiel up an octave above, which is a classic orchestral sound.
So the same goes with um, this instrument as the other one. You've got the mix one, and let's go ahead and have a listen to the mix two in comparison. And then some of the tree mics. Takes a second to get them to load. Yeah, so really interesting. You can get quite a bit there with just a couple changes in mic selection. There's, of course, some controls for uh, an outside, uh, additional reverb inside the instrument. Um, you've got the ability to tighten, which might work really well for runs. And you've got some vibrato. No vibrato controls, of course, on the staccato. And no vibrato controls on our longs either. Big takeaway from this first set of expansions for the Abbey Road 1 instruments. I absolutely love ensemble instruments. Instruments, they're such a great way to write. And the sound, the actual wonderful capturing of the performers in the room is what makes all the difference in this library, in my opinion. Plenty of limitations, seeing as though, though we only have three or four articulations, but this is a new way of thinking, really, for the Spitfire libraries, in that they're doing orchestral ensemble instruments that are clearly focused on performing in s very specific ways. Uh, there's a large range of ways that these instruments could be used, but the way that they would be performing um, is reflective of scores that are have obviously been recorded in Abbey Road 1. If I didn't list them all before, head over to the uh, Spitfire page. They've got a list of it's uh, tons of John Williams stuff and wonderful character in those scores. And they've done a great job of capture, capturing the depth, uh, wonderful sounds of the instruments and the room, all with these. That's what I like about it. So the limitations themselves don't really act as a turnoff for me, because I don't think I'd be going to this as an all-in-one instrument. This is more of a scoring tool spe for specific purposes. Now that's just my two cents on Abbey Road 1 after doing a little mock-up playing through to share it with you but i'd love to hear your thoughts please comment below if you already picked up the sparkling woodwinds or the legendary low strings do you have the abbey road one foundations and are you as excited as i am to see what they'll be releasing next overall this collection is on the top of my list for 2021 thus far thanks so much for spending a little time with me here today you could be anywhere on youtube 
you chose to spend some time with me and I appreciate it. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Head back around on Fridays for our weekly deal compressor show.